Because this is where we work on the mindset. This is where we work on getting you fixated on where you need to go. Because here's the interesting part. What holds advisors back from achieving what they want is not their lack of intelligence. It's not access to resources. It's the fact that you don't understand or have to accept two primal facts. Fact number one, you need to evolve. Your mindset, everything you need to do. Fact number two, to make fact number one happen, you need to be willing to play in an uncomfortable place each and every day. See, a lot of us come into this space, and what we want to do is find a way to get comfortable. The problem with comfortable is it creates some patterns that are limiting. So for today, and the reason why, for some of you have been around for a while, you're like, holy crap, they're making us clap, there's music now, we got all these weird claps, all this other shit we got to do, right? Remember, you all, you all signed a disclaimer, I can curse if I want, <laughs> just so everybody's clear on that, right? It's about getting you outside your comfort zone. Now, for me, and some of you know this about me, I am really an introvert. So for me to put this on and come up on stage and do what I've got to do for the next three days, it's like i got to put a character on. And for some of you, that's going to be your game when you leave here, is you're going to have who you are and then who you need to become as a character to elevate to what you need to do. And that's not about being inauthentic. Because a lot of people say, I want to change myself. The problem with change is most human beings don't like that. So I submit to you today, how about creating a second version of you? Version 2.0. Take the rest of 1.0 and go through it, okay? So just some things I want you to keep in mind. So I want you to break out your journals right now. Break out your, the black things that have Magellan on it, right? I did not give them to you for, a, for just to have and to lug home. We're going to work in them, okay? I want you to write two or three sentences in your journal. Why are you here? What do you expect to get out of this process? So why are you here? What do you expect to get out of this process? I'm going to give you two minutes, right? Cue up some of that brilliant music we got going on. Two minutes. All right, take another minute, maybe less. Try to write something inspirational, not like my, my partner made me come here or, or Joe Lucas browbeat me into being here. Like, put some positive down, right? All right, let's wrap that up. Excellent. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're all going to stand up again very quickly. If you're here with a partner, like a business partner, you do not work with your team or partners in this exercise, I want you to find a person next to you, behind you, to in front of you, to the side of you. I want you to nominate one person as A, one person as B. So go find your partner, one person's A, one person's B. Okay. Introduce yourselves, introduce yourselves, introduce yourselves. All right. Excellent, all right. All right, all right. You've introduced yourself. Now listen up, listen up. Hello. All right, go, go, go. Listen up. Introduction does not mean life story. Do not tell your life story. Person A, I want you to tell person B why you're, why you're here. You've got 30 seconds. Person A, tell person B why you're here. Oh, this worker, that's fine for now. Or go backwards and swap them out. Go backwards and swap them out that way if you have to. 15 seconds. 
больше, да? Выкинь. All right, listen up, listen up. Person B, go. Person B, talk to person A. Have a seat. Have a seat. Sit, sit. Have a seat. Have a seat. As this room gets bigger, I got to work on my leadership skills here. All right. Have a seat, everybody. Quiet. Let's go. Now that you all know why you're here, you made a declaration to your partner, we're going to get into part one of our work today. Now, part one is going to be mindset, as I said earlier. So let me explain what I drew here. When you start out after a goal or a vision, your mindset and your attitude and your resources, they kind of go here. Then you get to what I call this place here. which is your comfort zone, C, Z. You still have goals and dreams and aspirations. You still want to elevate your game. The problem is your psychology, you're not willing to get more uncomfortable. You're not willing to go, and then you create this gap right here. This is what frustrates people. Because you continue to set goals, you continue to want to get bigger and larger and more successful, but you stop evolving. And this is what happens, especially in our industry. As, uh, you, as a lot of you have heard me say, you can be a pretty dysfunctional person in this industry and make six figures. It's not rocket. It's, it's, it's simple, yet not easy. Help people, serve, ask for referrals, Rinse and repeat. Not that complicated. We make it complicated. So when I, and I'm going to speak from personal experience. Yeah, I've never been an advisor. I'm not an advisor today. But these principles apply to everybody. For the last couple of years, I kind of played in here. Comfortable. Made good money. Celebrated my 25th year of a coach, as a coach. And I could have played it out for another 25 years as is. Could have just, you know, done my thing, made my money, served, been okay with that. But I, this gnawed at me because I always wanted to do more. I feel, I believe that people, when they're in expansion, when they're expanding, we are happiest. And when I say expansion, I don't mean your waistline. I mean, like, when you're expanding your economics, your reach, your impact, who you serve, how you serve, all those things. When you have a magnificent ex obsession, you will wake up in the morning excited. It will not be drudgery. You will not get up in the morning trying to get through the day as a goal. You will elevate because you have purpose. And how you define purpose is everything. If you, just, if you define purpose as, I need to just make my business pay my bills, I call it needs-driven goals. Here's what my needs are, therefore, here are what my goals are. A lot of people get into that game, and they're stuck there their entire career. So this is about breaking through that today and really working through what we need to do, okay? So... Our goal today is to close that gap, okay? So I'm going to take you through an exercise. Uh, we call it MIOS. It's really mindset. We just like different terms. 
So what I'm going to have you do is do, we're going to do part one in a few minutes. And what I'm going to have you do is actually write down, probably for a lot of you, the very first time you're ever going to write this down, who am I? What is my mental makeup? What are my beliefs? Here. This is everything. If you believe you deserve success, you'll take the action to go make success happen. You will get a result. You will get evidence, and it repeats. If you get up in the morning and you're not sure if you deserve what you think you deserve, what much action you're going to take? You go in survival mode. Now, survival mode in our space, still 100, still six figures. So it's not like you're going to be on the street, hopefully. But you all know that there's another level of what you need to do. And it's about figuring out how to get there. And I'm telling you right now, you do not have to be any more intellectually smarter. What you need to do is get your emotions in check. What sabotages everyone in this room, including myself, is oh, I let this thing go, run amok. When this runs amok, all bets are off. So this is about controlling. So we're going to have you do is control how you're wired. If you think about, as you, we're all adults here, when you were growing up, did you purposely sit there and say, what do I believe, when you're like 14, 15? Hell no. In fact, most people never thought about that. You're, if you watch the video, and I hope you watch that 90-minute video before you came in this room, because otherwise you're like, what the hell is he talking about? This is everything. This is the work that I do. So there you have it. If you really enjoyed watching this episode, go ahead and subscribe to the Magellan Network Show with Coach Joe here on YouTube. And remember, I'm always here to help you become a better entrepreneur, business owner, and financial advisor. With that, I'll see you next time on the Magellan Network Show with me, Coach Joe. Take care and goodbye.